Well, here we are with the 2020 Bassmaster Elite Series season starting. Well, okay, it's not starting today. This was uh, supposed to be day two, but now it's day negative one because the wind has screwed everything up. Yesterday was supposed to be the first day. It got canceled because of the wind. Today, we have another wind cancellation, wind advisory. We, we all wanna go out after these big bass. It's like that thing right there. We all wanna go after these big bass, but we can't do it just yet. Uh, but I'm gonna show you something right here that I've never seen on the St. Johns River. If you can see this, I know it's a little dark, but whoa. This water is crazy low right now. Um, crazy low and, and it's not even low tide. Low tide is for another couple hours. Uh, so I think there are some inadvertent other than the wind that you can probably hear right now that are that are not good so we're gonna get started hopefully tomorrow get started okay we're i think we're actually gonna go fishing check it out got a big crowd here this morning out here on the docks uh for the start bassmaster elite series season got my man randy back here he's gonna be behind the, the handheld today and got all the boats out here ready to roll so we're gonna idle out here and get ready for us to call Call our boat number and then we'll get out here and get rolling on the St. John's River. to be a keeper. <laughs> I heard him over there. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a keeper there. <laughs> I'll take care. I'll take care of that 12 inch one. That's it. He was up there on the bed, most likely. Yep. Nice fish. Nice fish. Not bad. Quiver on the Tokyo rig. Yeah, boy. Pitching it around slow. Dumped it. Slack line. Felt it. Bow.
I think he, I know it is. Good deal. All right, made a made a last second move over here to this little uh, little canal. About half hour left, and caught caught two. One of them actually helped a little bit, so that was cool. Very very good. That was very good. Very good. Checked in with Mr. Robert over there, if you can see him. Uh, I just checked in and feel so so about it. Uh, I got fortunate and got a couple decent bites, so we're gonna go up here and weigh them in and see where we end up. What do you think? What do you think, Randy? Uh, we're pretty good. Pretty good. The man says pretty good. Man, oh man, weighed 16, 13. Had more weight than I realized once I pulled those uh, two bigger ones out. Uh, I realized that they were a little bit bigger than I thought so my man Randy was correct and that we did have a good day so I don't know where we're gonna end up in uh, uh, no, top 10 I think somewhere uh, that that is very good that is where we want to be gotta have to have buckle down tomorrow try to focus in the areas that we got that we got bit make sure we can catch us five and uh, try to be able to make that top 20 to, to be able to fish on Monday that will be very key very key so good day day one get ready for day two Again, but well, it's about 10 o'clock, and we wrangled this one, and we got a lot of work to do, but we got some time to do it, and hopefully we'll get it done.
boy. Come here, buddy. <laughs> you were you were keeping that fish ready for me. I just I appreciate that. You know you're a hell of a guy. All right, just checked in uh, after day two. Had a lot of excitement there at the end. Excitement. It's fun. What do you think? Excitement? Very exciting. 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 Yeah, Seth liked it. Uh, he said, just wait to the end and then catch a couple of decent ones. So I said, okay. Man, it just, uh, it's kind of crazy. Uh, but that's why you fish, man. I love it. Love it. Love it. Wow. It weighed 15 too, man. That was uh, pretty awesome. I don't know how much I'm going to be out of uh, first, but what a, what an awesome way to finish the day there on that, that last little that last little splurge. So now we're gonna put the boat on the trailer, get ready for tomorrow, see how far we are out of it, and then we'll let you know in the morning what it looks like. All right, here we are, Championship Monday. Getting ready to go out here and see what we can get done. We're in sixth place, only about four and a half pounds back from Paul, right over there. There he is over there. Um, so anything can happen out here on the St. John's. Try to drop one of those, those big bags, but we're just gonna try to put everything in the boat that bit, see what happens. We got our guy Seth with us again today. He's over here providing the light. So we're gonna see what we can get done today and uh, go out here and have a little fun and try to get some big ins. Out, wrangled out a limit, called up, had one one good one in there. Very exciting, very exciting. What do you think, Seth? Good day, fun it was day. Very good day, very good day. It's fun day, fun day. We could could have used like two more good ones, but man, uh, we fished as hard as we could, and that's all the bites we got. And we're gonna go up here and weigh them and see where we end up. I just finished second. That was really weird. I had no clue I was that close. No clue. And um, I really did, I fished clean. I didn't lose anything. I think I made good decisions. So that was just not my, my tournament to win. And second, but if it's not your turn to win, that's about as good as you can, you can do. Um, technically it is as good as you can do. So very happy with the second place. And like I said, uh, I lost by three pounds or something. Fish clean. I think I made good decisions to be able to utilize a, a strong start to the season. So 2020, looking good. Second place. Love it. 